A couple weeks ago, I put out a call in the community section of the channel as well as on Instagram stories for you guys to send your best outfits to me that I would review on the channel. And that's what we're doing today. Tons of submissions. I was actually really overwhelmed by the response. We're gonna get to them in a second, but before we do, I just want to say that as I'm going through these outfits and reviewing them, that if I have any criticism, please consider that constructive criticism and not that I'm putting you down in any way. I really wanna help you guys look your best, and I know it probably took some courage to send these photos to me, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great to see some guys from the HSS community. And one other thing, some of you sent me photos in a way that they uh, disappeared after I saw it twice, so in those instances, I might not have your Instagram handle attached to your photo, so anyway, that's out of the way. Let's take a look at these outfits. First look here is great. I love the kind of cable knit sweater. Uh, it's a very, uh, almost monochromatic. It's a tonal, it's a very tonal look. It looks great with the jacket and the sweater matching. And then I also really like the detail of the sweater being tucked into the trousers. So really like this look. Super classic look here uh, from at the gent next door. This is Tony. Um, looks great. I mean, double-breasted suit, classic gray tie. Everything's kind of perfectly put together here. Uh, the black shoes make it more formal. I think this is a great, a great look. This is a really great uh, kind of casual, stylish, obviously he's traveling, uh, kind of a travel look here. Um, love the simplicity of it, just the black t-shirt with the linen trousers and the drawstring. Uh, the hat kind of helps make the outfit. It, it kind of uh, complements everything and pulls it all together. And then the white sneakers look great as well. I really like this look. Here is, uh, this is like a, casual kind of, I don't know, maybe sharp casual look. I love the suede jacket, the blue color, the nice glasses as well, and just paired really simply with a striped shirt. And I can't tell what kind of pants these are. Are they wool? Some kind of chinos. One detail here that is interesting, I personally couldn't pull this off, um, are the shoes. They're, they're green, but I think it really works for this outfit here. So yeah, another great kind of sharp casual outfit. Well done. This is a cool look too. Sharp casual, I would say. Um, love the, the jacket, the sweater. That looks like the sweater that I have from Luca Falloni. So if you're watching uh, at the Business of Class, let me know if that is from Luca Falloni. Uh, wearing a jacket with jeans is, is some kinds of, uh, some kind, uh, sometimes <laughs> a difficult move. Um, and I think he's doing it really, really well here with the cuff and the boots. Pocket square looks nice. Yeah, this is a really cool look. I love this coat. I wonder if it, I don't, I don't know if it's from Peeney Parma or not, but it looks very similar to the gray uh, coat, raglan coat that I have from Peeney Parma with the belt. This is navy version. Um, I like this look. I like the use of the light cream colored or white uh, chinos there. Um, I like the shoes. I like that the socks kind of match the jacket and kind of balance it out there. Um, if I had one thing I would say is like I might let those um, pants out just slightly. They look a little, a little too um, high, but uh, really nice, really well put together look. So this one is definitely bold. It's not something that I, I would personally wear, um, but I think he's pulling off the color of the, the, the jacket here. Um, I would sort of maybe clean up the, the pants a little bit um, and maybe a little bit different bow tie. Uh, the, the pants especially, I just don't think, they're, they're not draping very well. Um, and it looks just kind of like sloppy on the bottom. So if you clean those up a little bit, I think that would really help this outfit out. This is at Crazy Legs, Crazy with a K, wearing, <laughs> this is this is an awesome tuxedo. I love the shawl collar. Uh, 
interesting detail here with the ticket pocket. Um, it's a welted pocket, so it kind of blends in, but I've never seen something like that before. I've also never seen anything quite in a color like this. Uh, I think he pulls it off really well. The bow tie looks like perfect for this look. Um, and there's a really interesting uh, texture, as you can see, to the, the tuxedo jacket and pants as well. Self-facing lapel, two button. This is really cool. Not something I would wear, but you're totally rocking it, man. Simple look here. Um, I like the jacket. I don't know if it works without a bow tie. I think this is definitely uh, maybe a more formal look. The, the slippers, slippers are a nice touch. I'm not sure about the color though. I think it kind of draws your attention uh, downward and like usually with clothing, you wanna draw the attention upward to your face. Um, and, and that sort of like negates that a little bit. Um, I like the jacket. I would just maybe put it with, uh, a bow, put a bow tie on and maybe tone down the color of the shoes a little bit. This is not only an awesome outfit, this is an awesome photo. Um, I love this look. It's just so casual and like tossed off. Quilted jacket, white shirt, the brown, they look like linen trousers. Got the suspenders on as well. Fills and tote, suede loafers that look like Bowden and Lang, but I'm not sure if they are or not. Um, obviously, I'm a sucker for brown and, and tonal looks like this, so this is just a home run. I might have to cop this look from you. <laughs> a lot of people ask about like how to dress well in warmer climates, and since I live uh, you know, on the East Coast, I, I don't get as much of that just kind of in, in the summertime, but this is a good, really good way to do kind of dressed up in a warmer climate. Uh, all linen, I think he even said that. Yeah, linen on linen and earthy. Totally, couldn't have said it better. <laughs> um, those trousers are a really interesting color, not something um, I would ever think of doing, but it looks so good here. Especially the jacket, um, really, really well put together outfit. I like the, the, the way the tie color pairs with the trouser color, that helps really make it. You could also definitely lose the tie. Um, and unbutton the shirt a couple buttons and, and that would look just as good with some loafers. When I got this, I was like, what is going on here? But then when I, when you zoom in, you can see that he's like totally rocking the ascot. I like that. I like that a lot. And uh, it's very simple, very simple way to wear an ascot. The rest of his look is, is very simple. There's nothing else drawing your attention away and everything, like I said previously, kind of draws your attention up to his face and I love how happy he looks. That's the way to be. You know I'm gonna like this one because it's browns and, and grays. Um, really cool look here. Love the turtleneck, uh, trousers. Are they look like corduroy maybe? I can't tell. But um, wearing some Chelsea boots, a double-breasted jacket, unbuttoned, very casual approach. Um, this is also a very cool photo, so well done. Here is a really well executed casual look. I think uh, this this guy sent me a note saying he, he's a college student and, and shopping on a budget and I think he's doing a really great job here. Just super classic, you know, um, the quilted jacket with uh, looks like, you know, just a blue shirt and some olive chinos and some boots there. That's a really well done look. It looks super put together. Interesting color here. Uh, again, not, not for me, but I think you pull the color off. Um, a couple things I want to point out as um, tweaks I might make here. Um, first, the lapels seem a little narrow for this jacket and, and, and for, for you. Um, I would consider getting the lapels a little bit larger, probably up to two inches more. I think that would help balance out the jacket a lot more. Um, and the pants, the rise looks really low, which I think kind of shortens, <coughs> excuse me, your legs. Um, so I would consider 
getting pants a little higher rise and, and um, making so that will elongate your leg. And I think it would just, again, this is like all about balance. And between the lapels and the pants, I think that would help balance this look out a lot. So there's two looks from, from this guy because he sent, sent two and they were both great. I couldn't choose. And I wanted to point out different things about, about each one. So this one I think is an awesome use of color. This kind of wine colored jacket. Um, it's, this is like super classic, very well executed here with the, the uh, navy pants, suede shoes, and the tie, the tie is just perfect. Uh, good pattern mixing. You've got the dot plaid and the stripes. I mean, everything about this look is it just screams elegant. Very well done. Next one. Classic, super classic menswear uniform. What I like to call the um, the improvised three piece here with the green cardigan underneath the jacket. Love the texture on the jacket. The pocket square is a great complement to the the darker green of the, the uh, cardigan. And then of course you've got your simple, you know, classic gray trousers there. So well done on both counts. Let's look at the other one again. Yeah, I love both of those looks. Here we have a very simple window pane suit. Uh, it's well constructed, you can see, because the, the way the, the pattern matches there. Um, looks great, it fits him well. And the tie is simple. It's, you know, when you're trying to style a suit that is more, uh, that has a pattern, keep the rest of it simple, and it's always an easy fix. So the shoes, one buckle, I think this looks great. Well done. So I don't know anything about um, like this kind of dress, uh, but I think this looks pretty awesome. I love the colors, of course. Um, and you look super happy there, so that's cool. Thank you for sending me this. The slippers are really neat. Another great winter look here. Um, the wine colored suit, it's got some plaid to it, and the coat is, a, is really nice as well. Uh, underneath, it got the turtleneck. It's a kind of cable knit-ish. Um, I can't tell if that's a shirt underneath the collar or not, but I really like this look. The shoes like add like a nice pop and kind of balance. You can see the way the shoes pull in the collar from the coat, and I think it just balances everything out. So really great look here. Also, cool spot for a photo. Simple, casual look here. I think I met, think I met you at the Creed event. Is that right? It looked familiar to me, but yeah, very simple. Well done, you know, uh, looks like a uh, corduroy trucker jacket, simple chinos, suede shoes, you know, good way to elevate a casual look, thinking about textures uh, with the jacket and the shoes. Here's a really simple look too, casual, um, using the scarf uh, probably more as an accessory, but I think it's nice. It gives a little bit of contrast to the rest of the look. Um, I think you might consider um, a darker denim jacket, not super dark, but, but just like a shade darker than that. It could maybe, I don't know, would give it a different kind of flavor, but I think what you're doing here looks really well with just the, the light denim jacket, the light colored chinos and the white shoes and the scarf just as a nice accent to everything else. So again, another very simple kind of business casual look with a Gray jacket, looks like navy trousers, um, <clears throat> blue, I think it's a blue button down shirt, um, and the loafers, tassel loafers, love the tassel loafers. I'm not like a, a sock person, like a, a, a funky sock person, so I couldn't pull these socks off, but I think they're working pretty well for you there. More browns and pattern, really cool, uh, like the hat. Um, the tie is the only thing I might consider changing about this because, and the reason is, and, and maybe the shirt collar, but the reason the tie sort of doesn't really work for me is that you have like a flannel coat and a wool scarf and then a very um, kind of shiny silk necktie. 
uh, and those fabrics don't really m pair up and match in my opinion. But um, I think if you put in like maybe a brown grenadine tie uh, or something in wool, I think it might pull everything together and just make the whole outfit look more cohesive. Quilted jacket, I love it. And then I can't tell if this is, uh, it's not a denim shirt, it's a striped shirt, but well-fitting uh, trousers, suede boots, uh, really well done casual look here. Simple and classic look here with a navy jacket and gray trousers, and kind of oxblood colored double monks. Um, yeah, pretty well done. The, the lapel flower, not something that I would do, but, but I think it actually works for you right here. Um, one thing I would point out is I feel like this jacket is a little short for you. You're, you're quite a tall dude and you have long legs um, and the sleeve kind of seems uh, short, the sleeve is short and the jacket length is a little short for you as well. If, if you're able, I don't know if you could get it let out, but I would definitely consider a longer jacket in the future. But um, the idea for this, the men's wear uniform, right on point. I like the pocket square fold too, the bunny ears, that's what I call it. Really cool jacket here with the, um, the box pleat pockets. I like the, the, the blue shirt, the trousers are nice. I mean, this is just a really well done sort of, looks like he's a, you're in like a tropical environment and uh, this is a great way to to dress there and, and look like you're put together and add some, you know, a little class to like an ensemble in, in, a, in a warmer climate. Classic here, you know, just a turtleneck underneath a jacket. I might, I might put in a pocket square to add a little bit of, of contrast. It's probably something with a little bit of a pattern, but uh, definitely on the right track. Another simple casual look. I mean, this is like textbook. You can't, you can't go wrong here. You have a light tan turtleneck, navy coat, light denim jeans, white sneakers, and, and a watch cap on. That's a really great casual look. This is really interesting, very cool uh, look. Um, a little on the trendier side, but I think he's totally pulling it off here with the, got the winter's undershirt that I like to call it, the turtleneck underneath the button up shirt. Cool coat, looks like a raglan sleeve. I like the herringbone pattern. Um, and then the, the wild card of this one, of course, is the, the drawstring trousers, but that looks really cool, and I think it fits you really, really well. Nice photo, and also a really simple, cool, classic look. Um, Want to point out the Chelsea boots here. I think they're Chelsea boots, but yeah. Not much to say about this one other than that it looks really great. Very simple. You could easily throw on some type of, of jacket to add a little bit uh, extra something, but no need to. Another simple classic look with a plaid blazer, white shirt, navy trousers, and what kind of loafers? Looks like there's a strap on them. That's cool. Anyway, really, really great look. Kind of a cool look here. Everything's very simple. <clears throat> um, and then you have like the one little pop of um, interest from the scarf. Another simple blue suit here with classic styling, blue jacket, or blue shirt, excuse me. But the jacket is blue too. <laughs> I can't tell what watch that is. If you're watching, let me know what watch that is. <laughs> but really nice, I like the pattern in the tie, the texture to it, I mean, three roll two, nice suit. Uh, I love a good black watch plaid suit, and I think this guy pulls it off really well. Does it look like dark brown double monks? I mean, it's hard to style a suit that can be as bold as this, 
but I think this looks looks really, really good because you've kept the rest of it simple, the white shirt underneath and the very simple, uh, simple tie. With a little bit of texture to it, that's a really great touch. This is a cool, really cool outfit. Um, looks like it's a flannel chalk stripe suit, blue shirt, the tie nonchalantly tied with the, the back, back being a little bit longer than the front. The tie knot looks really good. I like the little bit of contrast with the pocket square color. So this is a really well done business look. Another kind of uh, menswear uniform look here. Um, I think, again, this jacket looks a little short for, for your frame, like the other guy that I mentioned that about. Um, you're, you have longer legs too, and I think a longer jacket would, would help a little bit. Um, the tie is an interesting color. It wouldn't be a tie that I would choose, but I think it kind of works. I would just, it's hard to tell from, from this photo, but I can't tell the, um, the, the fabric of it. Um, I don't, uh, so I would just wonder if it, it matched the fabric of the jacket or not. It looks like it's a wool rather than a flannel, but it's hard to tell. But I like the shoes. Those look good. Oh, man, this is a great look. This is a such an awesome color for the jacket. And then again, just a simple rest of the outfit with the white shirt and tan pants, tassel loafers, suede tassel loafers. Um, this is a great look. I'm going to have to cop this one too. I like it. This is such a cool coat that this guy has here <clears throat> belted. It looks like it's suede. Um, that's a really, really nice. Um, I would, I would maybe recommend, um, hemming your pants just slightly, um, just to give it, this is such a clean look and I feel like they're, they're kind of pooling at the bottom a little bit. And if you, if you hem them to like just a very slight break or no break at all, I think this would like just have like such a clean look to it. But I mean, it still looks really nice, but that's like one thing you could do to like, just, just kind of kick it up a notch and take it to another level. And then another very simple um, look here with the denim jacket, white button up and uh, the burgundy uh, chinos, white sneakers. That's cool. I would say it looks like maybe the shirt is a little large, but it could just be the way you're standing. I know like when you take photos, it's, it's hard to like look perfect all the time, but yeah, that's a very good, simple, clean, casual look. Very easy business look here. Love this jacket and I love the white trousers. You got double pleat in there and turtleneck. Can't go wrong with that. That's a good winter look right there. <clears throat> Unexpected with the white trousers in winter. Whoa, this is a cool coat. I think, I can't remember if you said that this was thrifted or not, if the whole ensemble was thrifted, but if it was, very well done. Everything fits you really well. Um, the coat, obviously the hero here, but like the trousers have such a great fit that um, they almost steal the show as well. Really clean, casual look, like the addition of the pattern, uh, just the simple stripe of the shirt. That's a nice overshirt they have. Like greens are hard to do and, and like pairing different greens, but I think this, this really works. Part of that is like you have a really nice balance here between the, the lighter color in the shirt and the light colored suede tassel loafers that you're wearing. So that that's one of the things that really makes this pop and work. Very simple. This is like a tweed jacket. Um, look, a silk knit tie. I like the color. I don't know if the fabric matches the jacket quite the way it should, but overall I think it's nice. The dark pocket square is a nice touch as well. Uh, really clean look here. Um, well done. Uh, this is like totally, this is something I would wear personally. Uh, really interesting choice with the, the larger stripe of the shirt. Um, I didn't notice it at first, but like when you zoom in, I like those kind of details when you zoom in and you don't see them right away. Great pocket square. This is just, the fit is really good. Everything looks great about this. You even have the two inch cuff. 
I mean, really, really well done look here. This is something I've worn before too, I think. Um, I love this, the denim shirt, the, can't tell, the blazer here, what kind of fabric it is. Looks like wool maybe, but uh, really nice. Interesting pocket square choice. Um, it works here. I think it's a nice pop of color. Um, not something that I would choose, but I think I think you pull it off really well. And you look so happy, so that's like half the battle right there. Here's a really good, simple, casual look. Um, could be just the way you're sitting, but I feel like um, the pants maybe are a little, maybe tight. Um, but I like, I like the rest of the look here with the pattern of the blazer and the sweater and um, shirt underneath. It's a really, really classic styling, really great execution. This is a nice, I mean, you look totally sharp, sharp here. I think the sleeve is, the sleeve looks a little short, but I think it's just like riding up on you a little bit. You just pull it down. Midnight blue tux is, uh, always a great way to go. So very well done. You look super sharp. Great look. Great summer look here. Uh, yeah, everything looks really, really well put together. Is that a denim shirt? I can't tell. But anyway, the color looks really nice. The, it brings in everything with the tie and the jacket. Um, love the trousers. And the hat is a nice finishing touch as well. And that's the last one. Well, so thank you everyone for sending those looks to me. I hope uh, you enjoyed being featured on the channel. And um, you know, if I had a little constructive criticism, I hope you uh, could learn a little bit from that. So thanks for doing that. We should do it again. I definitely had more submissions than we had time to get to, but I appreciate it. And I'm so glad that we have such an engaged community here. Thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time we publish a new video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, everyone, and stay tailored.